Hello, I'm Richard Hooper and this is Sat TV News. Now I'm pleased to be joined by Mike's area of Inmarsat. Mike, thank you for joining us today. Now your area of expertise is the enterprise sector. Tell me, what is Inmarsat doing in that area? Indeed, well, thanks for the, the opportunity to speak to you today. Great to see you. Um, so in Marsat, from an enterprise perspective, we're currently focused on a variety of different market sectors, everything from media, aid and NGO, all the way through to mining, agritech, um, and uh, transportation and logistics, covering a whole host of different use cases and requirements within those markets. Now, you've mentioned a wide variety of uh, sectors there. Which is the most uh, profitable and which is showing the most growth moving forward? Yeah, we're at an interesting turning point, I think, for enterprise. So currently, we've been doing a lot of work in our core markets, which are energy, aid and NGO and media, where we do a lot of core of our, a lot of our core connectivity services. But now we're starting to transform into looking to be a managed service provider and actually delivering outcomes for customers in markets such as agriculture, mining and logistics. And what are the customers really looking for? When they turn to Inmarsat, what are they after? Well, I think historically what they've looked for is someone that can provide them with a highly reliable, highly available global satellite network. But what we've started to see is actually they're coming to us with business problems, i.e. I've got a challenge about my operation, can you help me fix it? And we can do that underpinning some of that, that technology with our own satellite services and actually providing them the ability to see what's going on in the field or in, or in, in their area of operations and backhauling that data back to HQ. Now, historically, satellite has always been considered expensive. I know that's changing. But is that a challenge when you're talking to customers? I think historically it has been when all you've talked about is connectivity. So if, you, if someone approaches you and says they want some communication, clearly if you're pricing something per megabyte, there's lots of different price points out there from different competitors. But our approach now is to try to offer more value to customers and actually solve some of their problems beyond just that connectivity piece. So the actual satellite cost starts to become less relevant. Now, what gives Inmarsat the advantage over your competitors? Well, I think probably one of, our, one of our biggest things is our heritage, is the fact we've been around for, for 40 years, and in fact this year is our 40th anniversary, lots of celebration going on around that. I think we've also been very prevalent in, in areas where you need to have very highly available, highly reliable connectivity, such as global maritime distress safety services. So from an enterprise perspective, we leverage that same network, and we're actually always there, always available, and we've got a really strong SLA that I don't think many of our competitors can really stand behind. And what about the future? What about the new disruptive technologies coming into the market? Is that going to change your view moving forward? Yes, yeah, so I think the reality is we'll look to embrace different technologies where we can. We're starting to see an emergence of um, edge device connectivity that's not satellite dependent. It's more about LoRaWAN networks or mesh networks. And funnily enough, we've actually adopted some LoRaWAN network technology ourselves, recognising that's what customers want, recognising that's a far more efficient way of communicating with things in the field and still leveraging our satellite network to actually backhaul that back to where they need that data to go. Mike, thank you very much. No problem. Thank you.